fella. She's not coming. Better get your bike. How do, Franny? Dad? I'm gonna be careful in them. It's in the catwalk in Milan, you know. It's just my path, full of holes, like the rest of the country. I'll uh, get kettle on, shall I? Still one sugar, is it? No, sweet. That's fine. So, come on, stop pissing about. What's up? You don't beat about the bush, do you? Life's too short, Franny. He's left you? No, I've left. No one's left anyone's head. We've just run into a bit of trouble. Ah. Uh, well. You don't have to look so pleased. Don't you bloody dare. Right? Never have the words I told you so ever left this mouth, nor shall they ever. I'm not pleased, Franny. What do you take me for? You all right? Yeah. Um, police have taken everything. Everything, like what? The car? Yeah. Furniture and stuff? And the house it was in. I've got nowhere to live. Yeah, well, that's uh, not entirely true, is it? He has, hasn't he? He's got a nice little place to live, courtesy of Her Majesty and the hard working taxpayer. Dad. Where are the kids? They're at school at the moment, but I can't afford the fees, so they'll have to move. Good. Send them to a comp. Give them a lesson in life. Yeah, well, they're certainly getting that at the moment. Want a hobnob? No. Bourbon? No. Jammy dodger? No, thanks. I guess they must be all grown up now. Oh, don't do that, Dad. Make out like you haven't seen them for yonks. There's always Christmas. Oh, yeah, those annual two-hour Christmas slots we had. Funny how they dried up, eh? After your mum. Yeah, well, maybe it was because we just rowed. Maybe because I didn't raise my daughter to be some gangster's mull who knew the price of everything but the value of absolutely bugger all. You know what? Here it I... comes. Let me strap myself in. The temper. We tried to help you with Mum. We offered you help. No. You offered a check. Well, I didn't want a check. I wanted my family around me. She did. She would. She didn't want to be in some fancy hospice place. She wanted to be at home with me. And she was. This was your old room? Yeah. <laughs> God, look at this, you dad. I want to go and see him. I'd like to go too. Hope you're not expecting me to come with you. Mum, please. We just want to see dad. All right, Dad. 
Well, shit the bed. Don't tell him that, we're sharing a room. Well, this is a nice surprise. Hey, how, how's Strix? All right. We need you to sort things out, Mum. Uh, excuse me? Mum, seriously. Things are really tough. I know things must be hard and it kills me. But there's nothing I can do if nobody bloody comes to see me. Tell me what's happening. Well, then the two of you need to sort things out. Together. Please. Yeah, no, that's what I want, isn't it? It's not that simple, man. Franny, I've been speaking to some people and I've signed us up to this, like, marriage guidance scheme so we can talk and so we can fix things. I want to fix things. Scars have shown up as well. Hi. You look gorgeous. I'm sure I'd say something about you. everyone, welcome and thanks for coming today. And you stay here, it's a group thing. But the fact you've turned up is really positive. It's a lot. Family Time is a course we're currently piloting here at HMP High Cross. For the past couple of weeks we've been using group work to find new ways of thinking and behaving through open, honest communication. For the next exercise I want us all to talk about trigger points. What sort of things are guaranteed to spark up a row? If it's all right with you, I'll be going around the room, listening in and helping out if you need mediation. Shall we start? I've missed you. It's not the exercise. Have you missed me? I'm serious, pack that shit in, Paul, or I'm off. How are we getting on? Fantastic, yeah, I think we're all sorted now. What about those triggers? We haven't really got there yet. It's quite hard to access it at the moment. Access? Yeah, you know what? Get there. Yeah, I know what it means, you bell end. It is hard talking about this stuff cold. Oh, no, it's not hard. Do you want triggers? I'll give you triggers. He's a selfish, manipulative, lying, bullying. She had an affair. It's a kiss. A, a kiss? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, instead of triggers, why don't we flip it and focus on the positives? What, what, what things do you both agree on? Our kids. First day at new school today. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <sighs> Big change for them. Yeah. They'll be fine though. They're tough, aren't they? Resilient. Okay, folks, can I get you all to come back into a circle? How oh, much you know? That's it, nice. Big circle. Right, we're nearly out of time. Talk to me and then share things. It's what we're here for. So now, as a sort of immediate response, does anybody want to say anything Why about... Why did you this? make me come here? <laughs> to talk to you. About what? Us. Well, I'm here now. Talk to me. Funny. 
Well, you can't do it. You dragged me here and you've got nothing to say to me. All right. Um, the next session, I'd like you all to do some homework. I want you to spend 10 minutes writing about your shared experiences. W what connects you as a couple? Don't mind. Darwin, what's in the fridge? Yeah? Just let me speak and don't say anything. Paul, I really don't have time to... Just give me a minute, Franny, please. Our first date, when we went to see Dirty Dancing, and I wanted to hold your hand, but I couldn't, because mine was sweating so much. Our first car, but never started. Our first home in Cross Street with bath in kitchen. Our baby's been born. How oh, amazing you were and how useless I was. The first holiday altogether. That awful night in Manchester. I held me for days when my dad died. always will be. It's thinking about them that gets me through. But you're right. I can't freeze time and why would I want to? How much have we changed over years, eh? We've practically grown up together. I don't want you to stop growing. I'm just sick. I'm shit scared of losing you, Franny. <laughs> I'm a selfish prick, and I'm sorry. Franny? I'm here. I wanted to say that if you give us another chance, things will be different. But I'd rather just prove it. And if I don't get that chance, And that's all right as well. Honest. It's up to you. Come on then, out with it. What's the crack? If I can carry on. Well, of course you can't. Who's gonna bloody blame you? No, this is not an opportunity for you to bang your bloody drum. I know how you feel about him, Dad. I know perfectly well. All right, all right. Why are you knocking? <sighs> Remember what your mum used to say? Come and share a pot of tea. My home is warm and my friendship free. Hey, come on, that was meant to cheer you up, not set you off again. I just miss her so much. I should have been here. I should have looked after her more. If I could do it all again. Well, you can't. No, but if I could, I would, I would have fought more. I wouldn't have let it get like it did between us. I don't understand you, Franny, when you talk about fighting it. You didn't have to fight for us. It was never like that. Might make you feel better thinking it, but... Uh, I'd no sooner turn you away 
thug of a boyfriend or not, then I turn bloody criminal myself. This is your home. Whether you're with him or not, whether you're here or not, always has been, always will be.